Hello from Suffolk, England, where we're set for a day of unbroken sunshine, though a little cooler than it's been. Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Matthew chapter 7 verse 12. It's Thursday, the 28th of May, in the year of our Lord 2020. And it's time to sit back and enjoy five minutes of civilised calm. This is Mark's Almanac, recorded in the peace of the English countryside. This strangely novel situation of opening his trouble to his Ravelo neighbours, of sitting in the warmth of a hearth not his own, and feeling the presence of faces and voices which were his nearest promise of help, had doubtless its influence on Marna, in spite of his passionate preoccupation with his loss. Our consciousness rarely registers the beginning of a growth within us, any more than without us. There have been many circulations of the sap, before we detect the smallest sign of the bud. That's from George Eliot's novel, Silas Marner, published in 1861. On this day in 1883, Bertram Clough Williams Ellis was born in Gayton, Northamptonshire. When he was four years old, the family moved back to North Wales. He claimed to be a direct descendant of Prince Owen Gwyneth, and is best known as the architect of Port Merion the Italian at Welsh village, used as the setting for the Prisoner TV series in the 1960s. Williams Ellis was also an important influence on the post-war creation of Britain's national parks and the defence of neglected village architecture. Also on this day, in 1936, Alan Turing submitted his paper on computable numbers, aged just 24. It was published in November the same year, and is now recognised as the most famous theoretical paper in the history of computing, a mathematical working out of the concept of what became known as Turing machines, general purpose computers. In the Second World War, Turing's genius played a vital role in code breaking at Bletchley Park, where Tommy Flowers designed the world's first programmable digital computer, Colossus. Here's a poem, an extract from East Coker by T.S. Eliot. I said to my soul, be still, and wait without hope, for hope would be hope for the wrong thing. Wait without love, for love would be love of the wrong thing. There is yet faith, but the faith and the love and the hope are all in the waiting. Wait without thought, for you are not ready for thought. So the darkness shall be the light, and the stillness the dancing. That's almost all for today. If you know anyone who could use a touch of calm, do please share this. And do please keep the requests and suggestions coming. It's always good to hear from you. And don't forget you can sign up to get daily emails when new episodes go live with show notes and links at marksalmanac.substack.com Remember, that's Mark with a C. And if you need some music to wake you up, how about Hand in My Pocket by Alanis Morissette? And what it all comes down to is that everything's going to be quite all right. Until tomorrow, stay civilised, keep calm, and please keep washing your hands. Have a lovely day.